One of the very common errors that I see when I video all the golfers at our classes and all of you out there that have been to the classes that have been videoed, you've seen how similar you are to one another in the common mistakes that all of you make, which make you shoot high scores, and how the Supreme Golf Swing Lesson Plan will correct those errors and make you shoot low scores uh, if we do the lessons. <clears throat> There's a common uh, error that I see with a lot of golfers that come in and get their swings video. Probably 75% of the golfers have their club face open at the top of the backswing. At the top of the backswing, their wrist is cupped this way. The back of the left wrist is cupped where it should be flat. At the top of our backswing, the right wrist should be very similar to a waiter carrying a tray so that your palm is up, okay, and the back of the left wrist is flat. Most golfers have their hands this way. Now the club face is wide open. So in order to keep the club face square, you're going to want at the top of the backswing, the back of the left wrist should be very flat or even bowed out slightly. And the right wrist should have a break in it like this, like a waiter carrying a tray. This way the club face is square. Also, keep in mind that in order to hold the club face square in the downswing, nothing in our body can get in the way. If you're a right-handed player, you lefties are converting. If the right arm crashes into the right side and the lower body is not moving, this right arm is going to stop, the club is going to keep going, and your hands are going to break. If you remember in class when I videoed everybody, everybody had their wrist broken down at the bottom. Remember the back of the left wrist has to be flat, and the right wrist still has to have this break in it, not uncocked. It has to still be cocked when we're hitting the ball, and then they roll over later. So, keep in mind that in order to hold the club face square all the way through the ball, you got to be a leg player and your hips have to be set in the posture because if the hips come forward, there's no room to swing the club. The hips have to be back so that nothing gets in the way. Okay? If you need help with those, make sure you get on your lessons and they're all covered and um, the testimonials that have been coming in from the Supreme Golf Swing students that have been thorough with their lessons is mind-boggling. People are doing great, so get on your lessons and let's fix your problems. Learn the correct fundamentals, memorize them, and do them without thinking. How's that one?